finite champion. Stop. He caught you with one there, huh? It's okay. It happens. This is boxing after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing, though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. somebody out to knock that cracker on his ass, yeah? And you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass. <laughs> knock the fucker on his ass. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. Ew. Holy shit. I don't want to die in prison. <laughs> easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. 
I wasn't always this lucky. This Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years, are you gonna let him make it 10? That's right, that's why we're here, to get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid! So here we go with round number one. Andre Bishop really attempting to climb a mountain that nobody's been able to scale so far here in the World Amateur Games over the course of nearly a decade. The fine Cuban, Joel Savone, nine straight years as the gold medalist in these World Amateur Games. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. He brings an uppercut that really does. Halfway through this round here. And bang, and away he goes. Not a good sign. He goes to the canvas for the first time tonight. Stand up. Andre Bishop back up, but is he back in this fight? I think he could still be dangerous. A wounded animal is always something you have to be cautious with. And right now, Andre Bishop can be dangerous, can catch his opponent, maybe coming in a little reckless. By Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Teddy, typically in a fight like this, when we have a power puncher against a real high stamina, well-conditioned fighter, what adjustments do you usually see made throughout the fight? Well, one of the adjustments is on the side of the power pump. He may find out that he better stop looking for home runs, stop swinging. He may have to adjust his game where he's using the jab more, looking for singles and doubles, not just that big one over the fence. This is what Andre Bishop talked to us about. He said, if I could target any one punch, it's going to be that big hook. Well, hit the target that time. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Good defensive skill. Joel Savone showing you the fine skill right now with that two-punch combo. Now's the real test for Andre Bishop. How does he deal with adversity? Trainer Gus Carisi back with him in the corner after being knocked down in that last round. Well, a lot of our fans at home right now, they're asking and they're wondering, what does Gus tell him in the corner? Well, I can tell you what he doesn't tell him. Like a lot of these trainers that don't know what they're doing, he's not going to ask him if he's all right. He's going to tell him, you're fine, now correct the mistake. You need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. It's okay, it's okay. I need you to move this round, all right? Look, he's gonna come in swinging. He's just still hurt. He's gonna look to finish you off. Andre Bishop's fine. I'm looking at it streaming off around victory. He has a considerable lead against Joel Savone. Savone's lack of defense, especially when it comes with just getting away from that, is really costing him a lot. Time to say, move your opponent will move it for you. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Andre Bishop. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Just hugging there. Very nice work with the double jab up top. There's a straight right hand. Wow, a big punch just crashes home on Andre Bishop. The only good thing is he's been here before. With all that amateur experience, he has been hurt before. He knows how to behave. Bishop scored really well there. He just did. Big, big shot comes crashing home. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. One, two, 
three, four, five. Savone's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Took a shot, now he gives a left. And that's the end of round two. I need another round. I need you to be busy this round. Nice movement out there. Keep that up, keep moving. Eyes relaxed, you're in control. Stay away from me. All right, how are you doing? Nice and calm. Nice and calm. How are you feeling? He's counter punching, and you need to be aware of that. Okay? Watch for the counter. Relax, relax. You're okay. You're okay. You keep your hands up. Keep up. All right, breathe. Deep breath. Get some water. You're good. You're okay. Breathe for me. Now listen. You threw a wide punch and he caught you. Tighten up your throat. Start of a new round, and I give credit to his corner. Savone's corner men did a really good job after a round in which their fighter was knocked down of just being calm. The way they're supposed to be. You know, we always talk about the fighter having to be calm and the experience that a fighter has. Well, that corner has plenty of experience. They just showed it. I really like what Andre Bishop is doing here. He's scoring well against the veteran Savone. Now he's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Now, this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just with physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. goes with a left hand. Keeping him honest with a double jab up top. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. And that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. You watch this kind of an effort tonight by Andre Bishop, and you completely understand why his trainer, Gus Carisi, says the things he says about him. Yeah, and you understand he'll be a star. Not just a champion, but a guy who will draw crowds. And I'm not surprised, or at least I wouldn't be surprised if he's not in the corner right now telling him, go out there and close the show. One, two, yeah, that's right, okay? Got your range. You gotta work. What he misses with a punch, down. Okay, take a deep breath. Ah, nice work. I like to double up that jam. I want two jabs. Oh my lord, Gray. This is your. I do. Final round here of what has been a night where Andre Bishop has been in total command of his opponent. You just don't want to slip on a banana peel now. Or on a right hand. Joel Savone was a substantial favorite here against the young upstart Andre Bishop. But Bishop is in control and headed to victory. Savone starting to bleed from the nose. Watch that punch. 
Mike Bishop not looking as fresh as when this fight started. I think he's slowing a bit, Teddy. But the bad news, that's not the worst news. The bad news is if we can see it, his opponent can see it, take advantage of it. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Savone showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Good flush, straight left hand. Savone's combination punching is working well here. Ellie ties up there. Up top with a quick hook. Who would have ever thought it with two guys like this, brawlers, punchers, that they would go to a decision? Your winner, on behalf of Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us for some great action ringside. It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter. Yeah, the game, baby. It's an honor. <laughs> Gold medal, baby. Yes. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby Bishop. Two and one day, I'm gonna be right where he is now. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being. Hey, Bishop brothers are in the house. Big baby Bishop. What? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won fighter of the games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter in the period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point regardless. Both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. You okay? Beautiful, kid. You got your father's power. He certainly does. His father hit like a heavyweight, too. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, Queen. <laughs> always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you, too, Gus. I'm bringing my daughter into the business. You know how good she is with fighters. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? Dad. You've been listening to this stupid old man. Dad. You don't know who you're fucking with. I apologize. No, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you're a good egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. 
Thanks, Megan. She's right about Paula. She's a smart girl, that Megan. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore. Along with us, we have a big card for you tonight. And a lot of people excited about what we're going to bring you in moments on our undercard. It is the pro debut of the middleweight, Andre Bishop. He will be going up against right, the KG veteran, Lucius Palmer, from here Let's at the Aragon up. Ballroom in Chicago. Stay with us for that. Everybody in this arena has been looking forward to this moment. The opening moments of Andre Bick's career. So much hype, so many expectations. Stands opposite Lucius Palmer right now. Of course, all that hype built on the foundation of a gold medal at the World Amateur Games. Palmer's making a mockery of this right now. I mean, the guy's not even moving. He's just standing there. Hey, look. You see people quit. You see people give up in different aspects of life. He may be doing that right now. The referee gives him a warning for headbutting. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this after the nations. He landed a good one there. How about that left hand? Teddy, in your training, coming up against a power puncher like we have in the ring tonight, do you prefer to have a fighter like this opposite him, a guy that'll fight on the outside? Yeah, I want a guy that's a little bit scared. He's got a darn good reason to be scared. If he's not, he's going to get knocked out. Stay away from that power. Trey Bishop's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Andre Bishop is on the receiving end of a power shot that scored the knockdown. Get up. Down, but not out. Bishop gets up on his feet. Right now, what he has to do is he has to kill a little bit of time. He's got to move his head. He's got to be defensive-minded, clear those cobwebs a little bit, then think about winning the round later. Able to land the hook to the head. Excellent one-two by Palmer. That right hand, oh, big shot. Late going here this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? So the first round of Andre Bishop's pro career is in the books, facing Lucius Palmer here. Teddy, after what, what can we expect? Well, we could expect that he's going to try to grab the last parts of the round. You saw that, right? You know, he'll fight three quarters of the round at one pace, and then all of a sudden flurry a little bit, flash a little bit at the end, to try to grab the eyes of the judges. I want you to use the ring. A new round underway here. Palmer doesn't make a defensive flaw like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. That's where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can see something that you didn't see and has told him what he did wrong. Having that much right now, that's got to help out his opponent. Yeah, you know, that's like giving him a free one because now his opponent doesn't have to worry as much when he walks in. No jab to keep him out. He's going to see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering them. Good. Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop is not showing the reserve of energy that we're used to seeing with him. Overconfident coming into this fight. Did not prepare properly. Didn't do all his work in the gym. <laughs> Halfway through round number two. Nice strike Double after catching one by Andre Bishop. Hubbender with the left hand. Oh. 
Takes one, but gives one. <laughs> and Lucius Palmer. See the quick jabs, those doubled up quick jabs, they can be so effective by on. Palmer's able to land a nice clean left hand. Scored well up top. Flush right hand to the head. Took a shot, now he gives a left. And this round comes to an end. Slug it out with this guy, all right? Keep your rage. Jab, jab, right, okay? All right, listen. You need to create more counters, okay? Slip these punches, okay? Back to action here at the start of this round, which just part of what has been a very fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Solid hook upstairs. You got this one. You see him holding on. Blocks away that headshot. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Palmer. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Scores up top with a left. Coming to the halfway point of third round. the left hand. Nicely timed one, two. Good block by Palmer. He has his target. He lands a straight right. Lands a big hook. Solid straight right hand. Just a dominating evening by Andre Bishop tonight. He is clearly up big on the scorecards. Trainer Gus Carissi has to know it. You can just see by the way he's dealing with him in between rounds. He knows it, and he can go two ways with it. Get the rounds out, work on things, carry him a little bit, or go close to show. Robin walked through the park with how extremely he is. Andre Bishop's not skipping a beat just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Boy, sharp two-punch combination. And he ties up on the inside. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Palmer's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. Just away. All right, here we go. Last 90 seconds of the fight. That's a solid right hand by Andre Bishop. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Bishop's put forth a little boom, boom, boom. A three-punch combination score. Good shot to the head with the hand. Two 
Well, you should lose your judge's license if you have it any other way but the obvious here, Teddy. Yeah, if they do that, I want to put those guys on a poster, a wanted poster, that you don't want them. Here's our ring announcer. Back here in the studios, I'm Brian Kenny. Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Bolgo. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer win. Now we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of a McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. Theater here in New Orleans. Middleweights Andre Bishop and Mike Walker set to square off for the official introduction, trying to make it two in a row. Be interested to see early on here how much an advantage there is with speed. Andre Bishop's full of it. He has blazing hands, Teddy. Can he keep it up all night long? I think he's gonna have to. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Mike Walker. And now he's targeting upstairs. Impact from that uppercut by Mike Walker. The other day when we were talking, Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Good right hand. Landing two jabs by Andre Bishop. Scored well with the hook. A well-placed left hand up top. Walker's defense is paying off now. Well placed, straight right hand. Bishop's left, working well that time. Fourth they go, each. Oh, Bishop got battered right there. Bishop was absolutely battered right there. The one thing he's got to do is stay away from that right hand. You can't hurt you, son. You're stronger than you. You just need to get him. To live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterparts. One of those has to look at him a little. Really on the mark with that over the top shot with the right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. It seems to me that Bishop is right now uncomfortable with the tetanus. It's a funny thing, but he might not be able to keep it up. That's a big right hand. Mike Walker, solid. He goes down. A barrage of punches just put him down. Get the young brothers out. It is way too. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit. But I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. By Bishop there landing the left hand. A little head hunting with the jab right to the face. Use the ring! Use the ring! 
frustrating his opponent with great defense. Walker's doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. Bunches and bunches, combination up top. Keep circling. Don't stand in front of him. You have to double jab. He's timing. Every time you come in, I want to see that double jab. Double jab. Walker's big task at hand. They've got to make sure that their fighter has his senses back after being knocked down. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. Right hand, very accurate with it. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Walker's the target of a hook. Walker's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Andre Bishop, he's been working hard on that jab, has Bishop, and here he's putting it to good use. Oh, what an uppercut. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Very accurate two-punch combo by Walker. Clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Mike Walker. Walker's going with a completely different style now. Teddy, I don't know that that's necessarily the bad thing, but clearly he's thinking to himself, hey, I was just knocked down. I got to change something. Yeah, sometimes you have to improvise. You know, Costamato, my mentor, he used to tell me the real good ones, they make it up as they're going. Right now, he's making it up as he goes. That's an impactful right hand by Walker. And now he's targeting upstairs. There's another left. Carissi's game plan being executed perfectly by Andre Bishop in that last round. He has a lot of momentum. Yeah, now when he gets back to the corner, of course, Gus only has to tell him, keep doing what you're doing. But a guy like Gus, he'll remind him, hey, it starts with the jab. Always fundamentals. Does Andre Bishop have enough left to put this over the top? Final round. The fight is as close as could be. Walker's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. They both decide to bring it. Bishop's hand speed is the difference here. I mean, that's what that combination was all about. Yeah, purely speed. He just got off faster. A razor sharp hook to the head. Bishop. And then Mike Walker's in bad shape. Well, he just went from hunted. Did you see that? And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your winner, Andre. I was on my way, and baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that champ going.
Ladies and gentlemen, at 2-0, the young upstart Andre Bishop is getting a lot of attention, and he has hours tonight. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to this night of boxing here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans. Bishop looks to start his pro career 3-0 as he takes on Wilfred Rosario. And his opponent, a player, the one Wilfred Rosario. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Teddy, there are so many advantages for the well-rounded fighter, the balanced fighter up against the power puncher. But what are the advantages for the power puncher, if any? Well, the one great advantage is he can pull it out of the fire at any moment. You know, usually the power puncher can and will make mistakes. If the good boxer makes one mistake, his night might be over. Rosario's hurt by that. He is solid. One shot is down, Teddy. And now he's going to have to find a way to clinch. He needs time to recover. question becomes after that knockdown and he has gotten up how does he survive so one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught have good habits have good fundamentals been put there you're gonna find out right now he needs them right now protecting his head well with his guard that's a good job by Bishop Hull. huge right hand comes crashing home Mario's defense is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Combo lands to the head. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. But now he goes down for a second time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Here we go. Round two is underway. Blocks the head shot. Right back to the work up top. Solid left hand to the head. Bishop's nailed by a hook. You know, it's one thing. There it is! Up off the desk and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. Come on, get to your feet. Two, three, four. Focus! Gets up after that punch, put him in. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Doubles up the jab. Rosario's right hand scores well. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And all of a sudden, wow! Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got floored. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. Two, three, four, five. I kept winning fights. I got people's attention.
My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. It's easy. Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. What's that all? <laughs> you don't have a say in this? Sure I do. I say Gus is my manager. Then I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you with it. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes entitled his own opinion, isn't he? Get the fuck out of here. We'll be playing next round.